Okay, in this um, video I am going to try to do as fast as possible, try to show you how to um, get um, objects from Blender into uh, Altspace VR. Um, that is uh, Microsoft's offering on uh, the VR space. Um, uh, you know, for your Oculus Go, your Oculus Rifts, your Vibes, whatever. Um, so your VR world in alt space. So here we go. Um, this is how you do it. And uh, so open up Blender. Could open up 2.04, but I'm going to open up the original Blender. Um, I would do 2.04 just uh, just for the heck of it to show you that you could get from even an old version of Blender into uh, Alt Space, but I'm just going to save on that. We'll just take the default cube that comes with. Actually, let's do something that's more original. Let's uh, do the um, um, Suzanne mesh. That's the monkey. Her name, uh, the name of the monkey's head is uh, Suzanne. And at least that's what they call her. And uh, this is what she looks like. We're going to give her some subdivision surfaces. So she looks kind of smooth. So um, I have to go to... Let's smooth it up first. Smooth it up there. Then we'll go to um, let's see it's in this view. We want properties and we want this to uh, okay good it's on the top where it should be. Let's make these um, horizontal horizontal there we go and uh, we'll do this add modifier subdivision surface and uh, there we go she's nice and smooth because she's using subdivision surfaces these are what you want to be using if you're going to be doing any kind of modeling because uh, subdivision surface see how it's all smooth and like that if you look at the wireframe, you can see that it's uh, got some smoothness to it. We can add more to the view, more subdivisions, more actual render subdivisions. And that's, but you only use a few points to modify your your uh, character. So let's just, just for the heck of it, modify a few points. And uh, bring up that nose a little bit. Yeah. Forgot how to get the special B, special uh, yeah, I don't know how to get it. Whoa. That. And how do we get a loop? Loop um, select. Loop select. Alt select mouse. Oh. It's doing it down there. Why is it doing it down there? Wonder. Loop select. Just do it straight. I'll zoom up on the nose. I, I want to select the nose and uh, I'm shift selecting is what I'm doing here. And uh, actually, I probably just do this. 
and then turn around and deselect all this stuff. B control um, B there you go. good enough let's see I think I can move it now without it see what it's doing grab make her give her a big honker there we go and uh, then we'll select some faces face right there give her uh, some nostrils extrude and extrude She's got the, but I need some uh, width between the, how are we going to get that? Oh, um, I think we can get that with the, uh, by selecting edges, getting up inside there. Selecting this edge and that edge. Doing a subdivision. Oops, I didn't want to do it that way. I want to do it the other way. So let's do it this way. Subdivide. Okay. And do it on the other side. Subdivide. And uh, select these. Okay. Move them apart. Bring them down. There we go. Grab and move it up a bit. See, that's what subdivision su surfaces does. If I turn it off, you can see the effect. Um, see, it looks just like a pop polygonal object, but uh, with subdivision surfaces on, it uh, becomes all really smooth. That's what it does. And. So I'm just making her, just giving her a little bit of some nostrils or whatever. But uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and dump this out. So um, let's let's have to reduce the um, subdivision. Do it down to about. Uh, that's good enough. Or let's try it two. Okay. Let's see how much that is. That's probably too much. This is good. And uh, then we do uh, Alt C, turn uh, mesh, 
curve mesh from curve meta surf text and do it again and see if we got it all Let's see yeah so it's fully converted now it's just polygonal data and it, you can you can even do more with a if it, you you can do a proportional edit you can enable that and bring this out like that that's a that's what proportional edit does I could have done that whenever I was messing with their as uh, subdivision surfaces that um, give her some bigger ears oops FBX exporter how to get that into blender is uh, you go through user preferences and uh, I think it's an add-ons and uh, you go and you find you get an add-on you install it and it will be uh, this is what it will be called import export FBX format um, Let's see if I can find it on the web. So I'll bring up my web browser. get it supposedly from blender add-on yeah it doesn't say where you get it probably comes is probably the case you can just search for it on uh, I don't remember how I got it So you just have to get it, and uh, then you just um, go ahead and do your FEX export, save it to desktop, call it, uh, we'll, we'll call it Suzanne 3. Export. Then uh, we can quit. We could save it out as a blend file and just, uh, but uh, we're just going to do that. And uh, 
Uh, we bring up Unity. So I'll open up Unity. And it has to be a mesh before you bring it, before you save it out to FBX. So, um, then you go in here, you make sure you have your alt space VR. You get that from going to your web browser and going to Google and typing in site colon alt VR dot com and then space and then you put unity and hit return and then you, the second line should be how do I get started with unity uploader and uh, you go down to here you get the uh, unity uploader you click on that once it fully downloads you click on that it'll install it inside of unity make sure that you're using the version of unity they want us to use which is 2018.1.9 f2 and you get that from uh, from the unity website you have to look around for um, the special downloader I think it was on that page that uh, how to get the do the use the unity uploader and uh, you go up here, you select kit, uh, you put in the folder name, let's say monkey is the name, keep it simple. Um, then we go over here, we go into asset, assets, import new asset, asset. Then we go to the desktop, which is where we stored this. Um, this uh, page this thing and it would be called Suzanne 2 so click on that hit import or actually it was Suzanne 3 was what I wanted let me do it again import new asset asset Suzanne 3 uh, import And so it, um, there she is, seven, Susan 4 right there. Drag and drop it into here. Um, make sure that we get the monkey out of this. We don't want the camera in there. So we drag and drop that and put it right onto Untitled. Hit Continue. Then uh, we take all this other junk here and we delete it. And we just want the monkey head. We go to kit asset name. We call it uh, Suzanne. And uh, convert game object to kit prefab. So the asset, asset was created. Uh, Let's uh, create a new kit on the website and bring up the website page and we'll call this uh, to match the folder name that we just gave it. We type in monkey monkey kit then hit create kit we go into edit and then we go over here we say load kit prefab directories monkey will be in there we'll hit build and then it's going to build uh, Suzanne here and throw her inside of a zip file and 
right until it's done. And it'll be done whenever it shows us the folder that contains the zip file. There it is. And the zip file is called monkey. So we go up to alt space here, choose zip file, and it'll be sitting in a folder called uh, new unity project, which was what I, my project name was. I hit monkey, open, then I update kit. Kit was updated. I look at artifacts. Monkey's in there. I open up uh, alt space. I pick a uh, world to go to. It'll be one of mine. Whoops. Wait till it gets in here fully, I guess. It's, I just jump in the gun. Worlds. Worlds. My worlds. And I'm going to enter in here. It's just one of my worlds. It doesn't happen to have any music players in it. Because I don't want YouTube to be uh, giving me troubles when I have to upload this video to it. And give me copyright infringement notices. I don't want that. So, um, we're calling it World Editor now. They changed the name of it. it used to be called Space Editor. So we look for our um, oh, under kits. It's under kits. Mine. My kits. Under monkey. And they moved things around a bit. They, uh, then I click this. And there is the monkey head. And then I have to reorient her. Um, zero. I'm going to have to bring her up a bit. 90 on that. Hit confirm. She's upside down. I'm going to have to flip her over. Whoops. Cancel. Uh, so flip her around the center. Which is going to be the, I think it's the Z axis. So let's do 180 on the Z. Confirm. Oops. Okay. Well, I was wrong. Uh, oh. So it did. Just flipped her around. Um, oh, I know what to do. Negative 90. Confirm. There we go. And uh, then I can turn her around on the Y axis and try 130. The Y is up and down. Uh, she's turned that way. Let's turn her the opposite direction. So let's go for um, one eight, uh, 210. Confirm. She's looking more at us. Then we can uh, increase the scale. Whoa. A little bit of delay there. Put 30 in there. Confirm. Move her about. And uh, this is still not all that big. We get a sense for her dimensions there. I want to give her, make her kind of huge. So I do 120. Confirm. And uh, bring it over here. And 
and uh, then we adjust the uh, rotation again. Have her, let's see, 300. Ten. Try that. Oh, that went too forward. Uh, two. Two twenty. Confirm. There we go. And then we can bring her down some more. Uh, just for the heck of it I'm going to go back um, and I'm going to make us some modifications um, I'll go back to my uh, blender remember I didn't uh, save out the blend file let's see if we can get it back from FBX so I'll say file import FBX and we go to the desktop get Suzanne 3 there we go we got her back even got the camera back don't whoops oh, whoops control Z And we want to uh, adjust the color. Um, I got a lot of junk on my desktop. Uh, let's not do that. Let's uh, select the eyes. So I hit L to select linked. Shift, select blink, and then I'm going to do a P. The, that's going to separate the selection, and then I can move those separate from the rest of her head. They weren't connected anyhow, and I'm going to go to properties. size this up change this to horizontal display add a material to her make her blue eye make her blue eyed or maybe um no just make it white eyed and then make her brown that brown and then we might want to zoom up on that and select the faces so we do select face selection I'm just shift right clicking on all these like polygons being just careful about doing it I don't even have to do that let's do just do one side hit P to separate selection select that and uh, do open, uh, create another material Make that original. Set diffuse. Uh, and then we'll go ahead, take that, that, and uh, let's see if we can join them. So the
link all these. Uh, delete the vertices there. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're complete. If they're a direct mirror, I'm just I'm going to uh, separate it out, separate the selection, then move it to another layer, or uh, move it to a Move it to another layer. And uh, then I'm going to take this and duplicate it. I'm going to get a edge off of here. I'm going to select an edge there. Move the cursor to the edge. Select this guy right here and uh, scale about the um, scale of about the um, cursor so let's see that's the 3d cursor scale and Make sure that it's, uh, whoops, scale. It says that it is a negative one scale. And it will be black, my guess is it will be black. No, it did it, did it without uh, affecting the normals. Let's see if it, the normals turn out all right. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, I'm going to recalc the, the normals anyhow. So, uh, tools, space, normals, uh, mesh. Make normals consistent. Uh, yeah. I guess that's what that is. And uh, so we were able to duplicate her and put her across. And uh, then we're, we'll make her mouth down here a little bit dark. So we need to get all those meshes in there. Got how to border select brush brush select that's what I want. Um, Select. Mesh. Let's see. I wonder if I can do a mesh. Well, select. It would be great if you could sort the sort the results so you could see all see all the mesh selects what i'm looking for is a is a round select so what you could do on an older version of blender i think that's all i'm going to do is i'm going to save this out to an older version call it uh suzanne Save it to um, desktop and save as Blender file. 
Let's see if we can load it up in an older version of Blender without it crashing. So I'll go to 2.04. It probably will crash. Come on. F1 uh, desktop uh, C users Rizio desktop. It's, oh, crashed. Okay. Let's see, open this with open with more apps Look for other app. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm just going to open up uh, Blender 2.04 or 2.28 again. And I'm going to take this and copy it somewhere. I'll copy it wherever I can open. <laughs> open. Oh, okay, that's some stuff. Uh, get a new folder. Come on, open the folder. And I go to, where is it? Desktop stuff. Hello. Uh-oh, somebody's in here with me. Uh, I'm doing yeah. a, I'm doing a, um, a, a tutorial. I'm doing a tutorial right now. Oh, you are? Yeah, I so you're inside of it. You're... Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, no. Okay. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Shadow. Yeah. Okay, where Peace. are we going? Um I don't know. Let, let's try um Is it now? Go to winter campfire just, just now. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> I, got, uh, I got interrupted there in the middle of the tutorial. Some people came in. Uh, that happens. But, um... I think you, I think you know where to get from there. Um, I can go ahead and uh, get that blender that was open, this one, and I got enough going on here. I can go ahead and uh, I need to select all of these meshes. The select all the meshes, join them together. That's in Control J, and. Uh, then we can go ahead and make sure that uh, everything's working out okay. Yeah. Oh, I have to make everything normal again. So, um, normals. I have to go and edit. Space. Normal. Make normals consistent. There we go. Fix the normals on that. The normals are what determine the lighting of the. Uh, um, they're, they're, the normals are vectors that are pointing out from the surface, the polygons on the surface. And uh, 
the if the normal points to a light then the surface gets lit if it doesn't then the surface doesn't if the normals are pointing inwards this is going to get some funky lighting um, and what you do is you tell it to make the normals consistent so what it tries to do is it, it looks to see what the surface is doing and if it's uh, rather than having the normals point inwards it has them point outwards by uh, detecting that the surface is what side is the convex part of this of the surface and it ignores the concave part of the surface so um, now we can go I'll just ignore this making that black we could make that black you know how to do it um, then I'll just go to uh, FBX export and uh, save it as um, Suzanne 7 export just for the heck of it and then go back into the unity go up here to the top say monkey 2 or no just monkey keep the same folder call it uh, Suzanne with with color and uh, go over here to assets import new asset find uh, find out where we saved Suzanne 7 there it is click import drag and drop Suzanne and uh, Again, we go up here the data and we want what's that ooh one of the eyes oops we forgot to uh, oh that was from the other layer so we just go ahead and delete that yeah delete that and then this we just move her into the main and take the rest and delete it select the head go to convert game object to kit prefab go back down here build monkey And then we go back to our up here. Go back, edit, open the zip file. It's monkey again. We upload it. Update kit. Go back to our artifacts. We should have two now. We got Suzanne with color. And then we go ahead and. Um, Okay, and then uh, we go back to alt space open it up now you don't want to work with kits inside of your um, inside of your home world because uh, if you have a camera in there um, it'll screw things up I've, I've had it I've accidentally included cameras in my kits and they come out really looking really strange I mean well it, it, my worlds and so we go here enter hopefully those guys are gone yeah they're gone and uh come over here 
and uh, go to world editor kits mine kits monkey Suzanne with color and we bring her down and we spin her around and flip her over and the easy way to get her oriented is to look at uh, look at the other Suzanne see how she's oriented 320 30 180 20, 30, 180, and adjust the scale 120. Confirm. Whoa. Um, there we go. We have the other Suzanne there. I can. Uh, if I was in VR, I would be able to reorient her. I don't know how to do that in this display. I'm not that good. <laughs> Lock all. And uh, let's close that up. And it's not lit. I guess we. I guess there's a way of bringing lights in here. I, I haven't done that. But. Uh, there we go, and that's how you bring uh, objects into alt space from Blender. There you go. Let's close things up, clean up, and just uh, cut this video.